Hello friends, welcome again. So in this video I'm going to work again with uh, authentication and products. So I'm going to add a link to the products index and that link can only visit, only see if the user is authenticated. So the link is to go to the uh, route products create and also the products create route is going to be protected by authentication middleware. So let's go in the code and open the product test. And see if we can see the create button. We don't have that, but just create a test and see if we have an error. And uh, before that, I'm going to show you we have, if I make a test, all are passed. Yeah. Okay, and now here I'm going to say a public function and test that the authenticated user can see the create link. Okay. And here what we need, we need the user. So I'm going to copy here. And after that, I'm going to say the response get products, so the same thing we have here. And if we see the, oh, sorry. We need the same thing here. Just we need a change, not by product, but a create. Save and open the terminal and run the test again. And it's going to be, it's going to fail. Yeah. Uh, contains create. We don't see that. So open the index blade in the products and add that. Uh, I'm going to add it here. So often if we are authenticated, uh, add anchor tag and say create. We don't have that route for now, so I'm going to leave it and out and run the test again. And it's going to pass, yeah. So let's uh, check if the unauthenticated user cannot see. I'm going to do the same thing we have here. Cannot see the uh, create link. Okay, and get products and don't see the create. Okay, run the test again. And it's going to be passed, okay. Now, uh, to navigate in the products create. So create function, public function, and test that the authenticated user can visit the products create route. So products create route and we need the user here. And also the route is going to be products slash create. We don't have that, but we are going to check for fails and create the route. And here we need to say the response, assert status, 
where is that set status? Asset status 200. And try the test, artisan test, and it's going to fail. Yeah. Authenticate out user can visit the products create road. Expected code 200, but we have 404, so not found. Let's go and create that. So open the web routes. And I'm going to copy this and paste it. Now say products slash create. And the controller, I'm going to leave it just for now because we are going to check for fails. And here the products create also. And uh, I'm going to give it a middleware, so here. So add the middleware, and the middleware is going to be out. Okay, let's get test again. Artisan test, and it's going to pass. Yeah, everything passed. Uh, go to the products create and check now if the unauthenticated user cannot uh, visit that route so copy and paste it here now test the unauthenticated user can uh, cannot visit the products create route and we create we don't need the user now so this, just this get, and now the asset status is going to be uh, 302 because it's going to redirect to the login page. And that's it because we add the middleware auth, okay? So go and test now. Artisan test, and everything passed. And also here we can check for the uh, redirect. So if I say the assign response, assert redirect to the login page. And test again. Yeah, everything passed. And also if I come here and go navigate to the I'm not logging, so navigate to the products create products slash create and we redirect to the login page. Okay, friends, that is for this video. In the next video, we are going to add the role to the user so and change this so the this uh, create route can only access if the user is admin. Okay, hope you enjoy and see you in the next video. All the best friends.